Digital security. Swift response. Smart progression. Welcome to Qingqiao Safety Investigation. According to agents France Presa, a large-scale landslide occurred in Papua New Guinea in the early morning of May 24. The disaster struck the plateau region of Enga province, about 600 kilometers northwest of the capital, Port Moresby. PNG Defense Minister Joseph reported that 4,000 residents in six remote villages in Enga province were affected, with most people still sleeping when the landslide hit, making the disaster particularly severe. Initial reports from the International Organization for Migration, a United Nations agency, indicated that the death toll could be as high as 100, later revised to 670. However, the latest official forecasts suggest that this number may be significantly underestimated. The PNG National Disaster Center informed the United Nations on May 27 that over 2,000 people were buried in the landslides. More than 72 hours after the event, local residents continued to search through the rubble using shovels, sticks, and their bare hands, with only five bodies recovered so far. This landslide may be the deadliest in Papua New Guinea in recent years. Papua New Guinea, located in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, borders Indonesia's Irian Jaya province to the west and faces Australia across the Torres Strait to the south. The country spans 462,800 square kilometers and comprises over 600 mountainous islands with many volcanoes. Landslides are a significant natural disaster in Papua New Guinea due to its position in the Pacific Rim volcano and seismic belt, where frequent tectonic activity and earthquakes destabilize mountain slopes. Additionally, the tropical climate and heavy rainfall contribute to geological instability. Since March this year, heavy rains have triggered at least 15 landslides. The most severe prior to the recent disaster occurred on March 12 in Chimbu province, killing at least 21 people. Despite the fear among villagers, relocation options were limited until the recent devastating landslide highlighted the urgent need for action. After receiving a request for help from Papua New Guinea, the United Nations promptly dispatched rescue workers to the scene. However, rescue efforts in the remote Enga province are hindered by rugged mountain roads and challenging conditions. Ongoing landslides, rolling rocks, cracking ground, and emerging groundwater pose significant risks to everyone in the area. Experts note that climate change has increased the frequency of extreme weather events, making natural disasters like landslides unavoidable. For underdeveloped countries like Papua New Guinea, the impact is devastating due to poor infrastructure, inadequate emergency response, lack of healthcare services, and insufficient early warning systems, which exacerbate the destruction caused by disasters. Consequently, experts recommend that the United Nations or relevant international organizations establish special disaster prevention and relief teams for less developed countries to ensure timely response and rapid rescue. Additionally, disaster-prone countries like Papua New Guinea must prioritize establishing disaster prevention systems, actively evacuating people in vulnerable areas, and minimizing casualties when disasters occur. Tune in at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday for Qingqiao Safety Investigation for your daily safety updates.